So, or doing the question is, let's see if I got this. Chamois cream. Nobody. Everybody. Yes or no? If so, what kind? And how frequently? Uh, yes, always. And uh, Belgian butter everywhere in the seams, all over the chamois. I don't like saddle sores, so. Some people don't use chamois cream, which is just ridiculous. I mean, you're, you're crazy. That's... Chamois cream? No way. <laughs> no need. <laughs> it's just messy. <laughs> Simple as that. <laughs> you're riding four hours on a tiny piece of leather, I mean. So. Um, do you have anything to say about that? <laughs> chamois cream makes it worse. I don't understand people who don't use chamois cream. It's a lot better. Because I know what it must look like down there. Only today and yesterday and uh, I don't know what kind, whatever they had. I don't usually use it. I'm with Will hard enough. <laughs> Will's crazy. Will's Canadian, so. You know. I've tried it with and without. Whoop in Canada. I'm gonna Does say no. It's all a boot just riding hard. That's right. I'm in the yes and no category. Most often I do not use it, uh, but in times of emergencies, like riding in torrential downpours and I, and the tour of California, you need to use it. Usually not a lot, because a little dab will do ya. I use D's nuts, because it's a superior product, and it supports a professional cyclist. Yes, Noxzema, every ride. Tell us about Noxzema. It's cheap, it works well, and it's easy to find. Yes, um, I'm currently using Assmaster chamois cream. Here is the Assmaster chamois cream. It provides ultimate comfort and soothes your tenderloins. Real soft and it's good stuff. Every ride, every day, especially this week, because it's long and gross. <laughs>